Lisa and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Developing now at 10, two mass shootings overnight in two states. Seven people are dead and more than two dozen others have been shot and wounded. The gunmen still on the loose in both shootings. And families of those killed are pleading for answers tonight. I'm not out here just to be standing out here to be nosy. I have a child that's laying out there and I, wanted, I want some answers. And good evening, I'm Rob Tuke. Thanks for joining us tonight. We start with that deadly gun violence overnight. Now, police say six people were killed early this morning in Sacramento, California. Three men and three women. A dozen others were rushed to the hospital. All of this happening just blocks from California's Capitol building. And in Dallas overnight, one person was killed and 11 others shot at a rap concert. The investigations are underway. And tonight, police confirmed there are multiple suspects in that horrific shooting in Sacramento. ABC's Zoreen Shaw has more on the investigation and what we are learning about the victims. Tonight, the urgent manhunt for the Sacramento shooters who killed six people and left another 12 wounded just blocks from the state capitol. One of the victims has a GSW to the right leg. Just after 2 in the morning, chaos on the streets. Shots ringing out near a row of nightclubs. I heard gunshots. And then after the gunshots, I heard people people just start diving down on the ground. And the next thing I know, I, someone fell in front of my truck. And by the time they got up, I guess I got hit. My truck got hit. Officers on duty in the area racing toward the sound of the gunshots, finding a large crowd and providing medical aid. He fell down here and said he's bleeding profusely. Desperately calling for backup. Three walking gunshot wound victims. I copy that. We need more units over there. Among those killed, 29-year-old Devazia Turner and father of two, Sergio Harris. My son was a very violacious young man. You know, fun to be around, like to party, have fun, smiling all the time. You know, don't bother people. And for this to happen, it's crazy. Tonight, city officials promising action, demanding an end to the gun violence epidemic. Our city has a broken heart. This is a senseless and unacceptable tragedy. Our community deserves better than this. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Now that was Zoreen Shah reporting Sacramento's police chief, chief said... Police recovered hundreds of pieces of evidence, as well as a stolen handgun. They say parts of the shooting was caught on video. And now to the second mass shooting here in Texas tonight. Dallas officers are searching for the suspects who killed one man and injured 11 others. Police say it happened just before midnight at a concert. Three people under 18 years old were also rushed to the hospital. 26-year-old Keeling Gilmore was found dead near the stage. Now, police say one person fired a gun into the air, then another person fired a gun into the crowd's direction. Again, no one has been arrested yet. The investigation remains ongoing tonight. And across Texas, we are learning more about the tragic death of a Texas deputy constable who was killed by a drunk driver while on duty. Harris County Precinct 7 Deputy Jennifer Chavez was responding to calls of a drunk driver. The suspect, a man named Adolfo Serrano, was reported to be swerving on a Houston highway. Deputy Chavez was in traffic ahead of the suspect. The suspect, driving in multiple lanes, hit Deputy Chavez's patrol vehicle, causing it to burst into flames. Deputy Ch Chavez was tragically killed. Now, she was an Army veteran who leaves behind a husband, a four-year-old boy, and a nephew that she and her husband were raising. Deputy Chavez joined the department in November of 2020. The suspect, meantime, has been charged with intoxication, manslaughter of a peace officer. Gr Governor Greg Abbott issued a statement today on the death of Deputy Chavez, saying in part, as we remember the risks our law enforcement officers take every day to protect our communities, I ask that Texans join the First Lady and me in praying for the family and loved ones of Deputy Chavez. And in the basin tonight, the Texas Rangers are investigating a shooting involving a Midland District Attorney's Office investigator. DPS said the shooting happened in Midland County on FM 307, a quarter mile west of South County Road 1130. Thankfully, there were no deaths nor injuries from the shooting. No other details have been released tonight. It remains under investigation.
and in Brewster County, a human smuggling attempt and arrest. The sheriff's office said a person called 911 after seeing a group of people load into an SUV south of Alpine. During a traffic stop, a deputy arrested this man, Albert Gonzalez, for smuggling in seven undocumented people from Mexico. Gonzalez was charged. The other seven are being processed for deportation. And now, your local weather authority forecast. Turning to weather now, we got some rain in the basin today. This video shot just outside of our station in Odessa by I-20 and County Road West. It was warm today too. Both gray skies just around 5.30. And taking a live look now from our Midland Tower cam, things are looking a bit calmer. ABC Big 2's Bridget Sarpong has a check on our weather for us. And now, your forecast first on ABC Big 2 News. That's right, Rob. And today was a nice Sunday. Some really great temperatures before that rain came on in. Today, West Texans were able to enjoy a temperature change of one degree warmer in the middle of the area, five degrees warmer in Big Spring. And I'll continue to have this new week's forecast later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. Thank you, Bridget. Tonight, we remember actress Estelle Harris, known for her role in the sitcom Seinfeld. She passed away just weeks before her 94th birthday. I mentioned his hands to plenty of people. You never mentioned it to me. <laughs> and me an emery board. <laughs> Harris died last night of natural causes in Palm Desert, California. Harris, whose distinctive voice was sought after in various roles, unforgettably played Estella Costanza on the, 19, on the 1990s sitcom Seinfeld, often bickering with her on-screen husband, Jerry Stiller, and her fictional son, Jason Alexander. Harris also voiced Mrs. Potato Head in the Toy Story franchise and played Muriel on Disney Channel's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. She was 93 years old. And now to the latest on the war in Ukraine. The Ukrainian president is calling Russia's attacks on Ukraine, quote, genocide. The Ukrainian government said it's found evidence of serious war crimes by Russian troops on the outskirts of Kyiv. Photos circulating on social media too graphic to show on TV show scores of people dead on the streets of Kyiv suburbs following the withdrawal of Russian soldiers. And as ABC's Jeff Paul reports, European countries are welcoming Ukrainians who've been able to escape their homeland. But many remain trapped tonight. Ukrainians continue to escape the non-stop shelling in their country this weekend. Some progress has been made to get these refugees from Mariupol to safer cities. But Ukrainian officials say more than 100,000 remain trapped, cut off from the world. They claim Russian forces aren't allowing people to get out or letting any possible aid get into the city due to constant bombings. I have only one question. Why? We only lived as normal people and our normal life was destroyed and we lost everything. I don't have any job. I can't find my son. President Zelensky tells Fox News the only outcome his country will accept in its war with Russia is victory. Talks to reach a ceasefire continue as an attempt to rescue civilians from the surrounded city of Mariupol failed. Powerful weapons are needed to Ukrainians. Heavy weapons will give us a ch an opportunity to talk with them at the negotiation table. Meanwhile, a series of explosions tore through the city of Odessa on Sunday. Missiles hit an oil processing plant and fuel depot in the area, causing a massive fire to break out, sending billowing clouds of smoke into the sky. While intense fighting continues in parts of Ukraine, officials say there is strong proof that Russian forces are now pulling out from in and around the capital city of Kyiv. Despite the withdrawals, President Volodymyr Zelensky warned civilians who are attempting to return home to stay away and stay safe. Now, prices at the pump continue to trend lower. President Biden has ordered the release of one million barrels of oil every day for six months from the nation's quote-unquote strategic petroleum reserve. Now, according to the latest data from AAA, the average price for a gallon dropped to $4.19 today. That's a decline from Saturday's average cost of $4.20, a one-cent difference. Well, friends, a sunny Sunday in a few areas that did see some thunderstorms in the Permian Basin tonight. Will we continue to see some rain tomorrow? I'll have that answer after the break. And Tiger is in town for the Masters, but is he going to play? Plus, the championship game is set for men's March Madness. We show you some of the biggest moments so far. 
And it was a tough weekend for travel. Thousands of delays and cancellations. The reason, next. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to get reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. No two hometowns are exactly the same. But they all have one thing in common. People committed to making them better. And Steel has been a part of those hometowns for over half a century. Help us support our communities, our neighbors, our friends. Shop local. Real Steel. Find yours. Your debit card is always with you, which means it can be easy to lose, and that's never a good feeling. But with Card Valet from MTCU, turning your card off is as easy as a swipe, just in case you can't find it. And with MTCU's mobile app, starting a budget has never been easier. A few clicks and you can view your monthly spending habits. Card Valet and mobile budgeting. Just a couple of benefits of mobile banking with MTCU. Your partner in lending, your partner in life. This is the sound of connecting. Good morning. Of learning, creating, competing, bonding. How's he doing? A lot better. This is the sound of fast, reliable internet. A fiber-powered network. All right. Push. Delivering push, push. speeds up to one gig. Absolutely. And whole home Wi-Fi. So all your devices stay connected. This is the sound of Sparklight. A stronger connection. Dents and dings got you down? At Classics Auto Paint and Body, their paintless dent repair restores your vehicle back to its original state. Here are four reasons to consider paintless dent repair. Vehicle panels have shape memory. Our technicians pop the dent back out of the metal to its original shape. No removal of panels, no painting or sanding involved. It's inexpensive and fast. If your vehicle has an unsightly dent, contact us today at Classics Auto Paint and Body to schedule a free consultation. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. And now, your local weather authority forecast. Well, everyone, happy Sunday. The weekend has came, and now it's left us. But before it did leave us, we did have a really nice temperature change throughout parts of the Permian Basin. The Middle Odessa area, we increased by 1 degree. Big Spring, 5 degrees warmer. And then we do have some of that increased by 10 degrees. Not bad whatsoever, but our friends, where it's always nice and warm down in Presidio, cooled down by a degree. So not bad at all. Today, some warm temperatures today, actually beating our average. Today, we came in at a high of 89 degrees. Usually around this time, our average in April is 78 degrees. So some pretty good temperatures, some warm temperatures. Today warm, but not as warm as how you were back in 2011 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 97 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. Our lows did come in warm compared to average, sitting at a high of only 52 degrees. Around this time in April, we're definitely used to 49 degree temperatures. Not bad at all. Currently with the rain that we did see and still some warm temperatures, we are cooling down over to our 50s. Our humidity level because of that rain has reached up to 16%. Definitely not bad at all. We did have and see our skies going down that sunset at 8, 10 p.m. But again, not bad. Now, with that rain that we did see, we're going to continue to see some of that rain tomorrow. But we are in the green for the middle of the area, sitting at pretty moderate. And as we make our way over to Dallas and Alexandria, we do see more of that rain going on compared to the rest of Texas. So we'll take what we can get as we make our way into the evening. It is pretty cloudy right now in certain parts of the basin. That cloud cover is going to continue to be with us as we get into 6 in the morning, mostly in the middle of the area, a little bit in Hobbs and Carlsbad. But then we get over in to noon around 2 p.m. That's when we do see that rainfall coming on in in the middle of this area along with some cloud cover. Now that rain is going to leave us by the time we get into 7 p.m. and it's going to stay pretty clear into our Tuesday. So we're going to start off pretty cold and a little bit of some rain because we do have that cold front coming on in by the time we get into 6 in the morning dropping our temperatures into the 50s. But we do see temperatures begin to rise just a little bit making us have a nice and really warm kind of Monday. That 
we get to Tuesday, that cold front does come back in the basin around 6 in the morning, but then we warm on up back into our 80s. Not bad for the beginning of the week. A cool morning at 57 degrees. By the time we get into noon, that's when we will see some temperatures begin to rise, along with that rain coming on in, that thunderstorm at 64 degrees. And then by the time we get into 5 p.m., we can enjoy a very warm afternoon, sitting at only 74 degrees. So we will take what we can get for that start of our week. Now, our kid is going to school. We're going to start off pretty cool at 58 degrees, 69 by the time they get and leave from school. But that seven-day forecast is going to show that we will have a 30% chance of some thunderstorms sitting at 74 degrees. But then we get into Tuesday. It's going to be windy, but at least it's going to be in the 90s. So you know what, Rob? We'll take what we can get and just manage that. Some of that, you know, the rain that we're seeing between tonight and going into tomorrow. I have to tell you, Bridget, as soon as I heard the rain, I smelled it in the newsroom. I ran outside. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Immediately ran back inside. Yes, yes. It's nice to have some rain. It's pretty good for this drought that we're seeing for right now. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Well, thank you, Bridget. Well, it's been a rough weekend for airline passengers. Airlines canceled and delayed more than 10,000 flights this weekend because of storms in Florida and a technology issue at Southwest Airlines stranding travelers across the country and creating long wait times to reach airline customer service. More than 3,400 flights have been canceled and 8,800 flights delayed this weekend, according to flight tracker Flight Aware. Now, the flight woes come during the busy spring break travel season and at a time when travel is surging because of pent up demand from the pandemic. Now, Southwest, the nation's largest domestic carrier, was the hardest hit in terms of the number of flights. The airline canceled 520 Saturday flights or 14% of its operation and nearly 400 Sunday flights. In addition to weather, Southwest said it had intermittent technology issues early Saturday that hurt the airline. And now, your ABC Big Two Sports. Now to March Madness, stretching into April. Tickets to the NCAA men's basketball title game are punched after two wild games last night in New Orleans. The championship game is now set between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Kansas Jayhawks. They face off tomorrow night at the Superdome. The Jayhawks and the Tar Heels both clinched their spots in different manners last night. Kansas cruised to a victory over Villanova, and it turned into a massive celebration on the streets. This is a great moment for all of us. Now, North Carolina ended the illustrious career of Coach K, the Duke Blue Devils head coach, in an epic battle between conference rivals. Earlier today, the Duke men's basketball team finally touched down. Now ABC's Kaylee Hartung has the biggest moments from the weekend's final four games. Racing, pull up, three, no good. The end of an era. Coach K's legendary career has come to a close. Duke's coach Mike Krzyzewski walking off the court one last time. It's not about me, right? You know, especially right now. You know, my, you know, as a coach, I'm just concerned about these guys. After 42 years leading the Blue Devils, the winningest coach in NCAA history handed his final loss in the Final Four by none other than his arch rival. Will this be the last time Coach K ever huddles with his team? The greatest rivalry in college sports living up to the hype on basketball's biggest stage. That's the first mate for Duke. UNC making an unexpected late season surge behind first year coach Hubert Davis to win when it counts the most. We have more than enough time to prepare for an unbelievable Kansas team and playing for the national championship. You're not motivated for that. That's you shouldn't be playing. Coach K building a dynasty at Duke, winning five national titles on a foundation of mental toughness and execution. The shot of the night to this point is Roach answers back with a quick two. But it was Carolina who out-executed the Blue Devils in this epic back-and-forth game. Back in Chapel Hill, the celebration pouring into the streets. Now Kansas stands between UNC and a national championship. The hot shooting Jayhawks getting off to a fast start. Early smashes the three. Holding off Villanova wire to wire for a decisive 16 point win. After a march that delivered the madness, two of the most storied programs are left standing to battle it out for a title on Monday night. 
And that was Kaylee Hartung reporting. And we have a winner tonight in the Women's College Basketball National Championship with a score of 64 to 49 South Carolina Gamecocks are our new champions in women's basketball, handing the Yukon Huskies their first loss in 12 final appearances. This is South Carolina's second title win. And golfing great Tiger Woods says it will be a game time decision on whether he competes in the 86th Masters, which is scheduled to begin this Thursday. Woods, who is 46, gave the update in a tweet this morning, writing that he would be returning to Augusta National Golf Club to continue preparation and practice. Woods also congratulated Anna Davis, the teenager who won the Augusta National Women's Amateur on Saturday. And tonight we are remembering former Texas Tech Lady Raider Yvonne Cook Taylor. The women's basketball team shared the tragic news of her death tonight on Facebook. Yvonne's biography on her school's website reads, she played from 2013 to 2017, making the All Big 12 honorable mention twice. She wore the number two. Coming up, a mystery mannequin dressed like a police officer pops up in a Texas neighborhood all to slow cars down. Now the man responsible for the mannequin is coming forward. All that and more next. She's a spokesbird. They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. We're a team. There's no eye in eye care. Wait. <laughs> Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses, and same-day service for only $79. You've been dismissed. 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 Cable news networks have decided they only want to appeal to the extremes. They only care about half of us. And if you don't agree with their point of view, you're dismissed. It's about time somebody did something. At News Nation, we are here to bring you back. Back to where we aren't yelling at each other, but telling all of America's stories. Come back to the facts. Back to balance. Come back to the news. News Nation. News for all America. Buy the king-size mattress for the queen-size price. Everybody does that, right? At Bob Mills, you get the king-size mattress for the queen-size price, but I'll give you the sleep spa bonus. Like the beautiful king sheets and pillows. You're going to need all that for your new king-size bed. Here's the Somniva King mattress. Queen price, just $19.96. The sheets and pillows, free. That's the sleep spa bonus. Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Ah. Oh. Mosquitoes, ants, mice, oh my! They aren't just scary, they can be dangerous to you and your home. If you see one, chances are you haven't seen them all. Skip the other guys. Call Voidston Pest Control, a family-owned and operated company based in Midland. With over 70 years of experience, Voidston is ready to take on any pest that comes their way. Give Voidston Pest Control a call today. Customers love us. Pests of all kind hate us. She's a spokesbird. They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. We're a team. There's no eye in eye care. Wait. <laughs> Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses, and same-day service for only $79. Real Steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. A mystery is unraveling tonight across Texas. For weeks now, a strange new neighbor has been spotted in southeast Houston. Nobody knew who he was or where he came from. But the good thing, he slowed down cars speeding by in one neighborhood. But as quickly as he appeared, he has now disappeared, leaving behind only body parts and memories. ABC's Pooja Ladhia is finally unmasking the man behind the mannequin. In the shadow of a single tire, he emerges. It was just an innocent joke. Meet Jack Miller. This guy was his. My neighbor and I uh, saw a toilet on this site and started uh, texting each other as a joke. Well, hey, what if we just put a you know, police officer up like a dummy with a radar gun to see if we could get people to slow down? And that turned into, well, how would one even buy a mannequin? And then, it, as with all things, Amazon. I don't know if I'd want to get this in the mail. The whole body comes in a big box, but the head comes in a small box. And so you open this small box and you've got a mannequin face staring out at you. It did didn't take much. Just a novelty police costume, a hair dryer, and a little super glue. 
The idea was to stop people from speeding by. Neighbors say there have been four crashes around here in just two years. Some have even tried to get a four-way stop sign put up a few blocks over. When that failed, the man Jack calls Officer Blodgett stepped up to patrol his namesake street. The flowers here, that wasn't us. Uh, someone put a Ukrainian flag on him at one point. That wasn't us. Um, we've seen people drive by happily slowing down to take a look, which, you know, it was working for a while. He was doing his job, but apparently missed safety training day at the academy. When that storm blew through, he blew over and his head fell off. Three days later, I came by and someone had stripped him of all his clothes, dismantled him, collected up all the body parts and put it on the curb. One of our coworkers said that she would have come and gotten a foot. Yep. <laughs> she said she wanted a foot. His parts were gone, so uh, he's resting in pieces right now. Worth it, even if it cost an arm and a leg. I've been waiting for that pun. <laughs> Oh, what a thing to do. All right, well, nearly half a million Ford trucks are being recalled tonight. What's the problem, and are you affected? Find out next. ABC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. served the great people of West Texas for over 30 years with quality windows, siding, patios, and sunrooms. Call us today for a free no-hassle estimate. You want to feel important, to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we joined the Army National Guard. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Truckloads! Truckloads! Now arriving at Allen's Gallery of Furniture and Appliances. Say big on over 50 major manufacturers during Allen's Truckload Sale. Huge savings and selection on furniture, mattresses, and appliances. Come see us during Allen's Truckload Sale. Hurry in for the best selection. We'll save you money. Wow! Your all-time country favorites, Kicks 99.1. The big money dollar bill game is back and better than ever. We're talking money. Oh, yeah. Big money. Look for dollar bills with 991 in the serial number. Listen to Big D, Baba, and Amanda at 620 and 720 in the morning. Five plays every weekday to stretch your $1 bills into 100, 1,000, even $10,000 cash. This is Linda. I stretched a $1 bill into $10,000. From your all-time country favorites, Kicks 99.1. The Vineyard, Midland's premier master planned community, impeccable high-end luxury with resort-style amenities. These Silverleaf homes are located close to Green Tree Country Club and are walking distance to Faskin Elementary. Contact Alexa to schedule your private showing. Trending tonight, a battery drain problem on some Apple products is said to be fixed through their latest iOS upgrade. The recent update in the iOS system, 15.4.1, promises to fix a battery draining bug, which continues to affect a number of users. Apple's Twitter support noted that some battery drain was normal 48 hours after the installation of this new update. However, some customers still had problems weeks later. Still, the upgrade promises to fix some accessibility issues and adds new security. And tonight, Ford is recalling thousands of its trucks over potential braking issues. The company says it's recalling about 400,000 of its trucks for issues with the integrated trailer braking systems. The problem is due to a software issue causing the system not to apply a trailer's brakes. The callback affects 2021 and 2022 models, including Ford F-150s, Super Duty models, Expedition, Lincoln Navigator, and Ford Maverick. The software fix can be done by local dealers. The automaker will notify owners of affected models by mail. And coming up after the break, Bridget will have one last look at the forecast. 
And as we head to break, a reminder that if you see news happening, share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure you use the hashtag abcbig 2 news And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABC Big 2 News. We know these roads and drive them too. At Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers, we handle big crashes, especially those involving big trucks. For catastrophic injury or wrongful death, call the people you know. Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. Let's hear it. Idol's two-night event. This is it. To the top now. With show-stopping duets. And find out who makes it to your vote. You are in America's hands now. American Idol, new tonight and tomorrow on ABC. Earn an associate degree in respiratory therapy from Midland College. This is a 20-month curriculum, 66 semester credit hours. This program prepares students for an allied health specialty that cares for patients with cardiopulmonary deficiencies. Join us at Johnny Carino's for our 5 for $15 ribeye steak and lobster ravioli meal deal. Enjoy our Italian nachos appetizer, juicy char-grilled ribeye steak, savory lobster ravioli, choice of your favorite sauce, a refreshing beverage, and our fresh baked bread, all for only $15. Plus, join us for half-price family platters every Monday after 4 p.m. Choose from a variety of our signature Italian dishes served family style, such as our classic hand-breaded chicken parmesan. Hurry in for dine-in or take-home at Johnny Carino's. Spring ahead with our top speeds. Get faster internet with Suddenly. Like our high-speed 1-gig internet for just $49.99 a month. With it, you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card, HBO Max included on us for one year, and a free Wi-Fi extender for whole home coverage. Get our fastest speed. Plus, with optimal flexibility from Suddenlink, you can choose more of what you want with no hidden fees. And the grass gets greener when you combine with Optimum Mobile for even more savings. Spring into action and sign up at Suddenlink.com or call us at 800-972-5757 today. At Glasheen Vias Ninderman Injury Lawyers, we know how to get results for our clients because our experience is with catastrophic injury and wrongful death cases. We win, and we win big. We're Glasheen, Vias, and Enderman injury lawyers. Well, before we get to our final forecast, taking a look at some of the rain severe risk zones, zones that we will see for tomorrow. The Middle Desert area is in a marginal zone for tomorrow with some rain. And then closer over to Dallas and Adria, Alexandria, it will be an enhanced kind of rain zone. So not bad at all. We will see some of that rain chance coming on in later on as we make our way into Monday. For right now, it is a little bit cloudy, but by the time we get into 7 a.m., cloud cover is still a little bit. And then that's when we get into 2 p.m. And that's when we really see that that rain coming on in. It's going to leave us by the time we get into 7 p.m. So definitely not bad whatsoever. Now get into that seven day forecast. It does show we will have a 30% chance of some thunderstorms, but it's still going to be sunny, warm enough, sitting at 74. Then we get into Tuesday and Dare I say summer temperatures, very windy though, but 90 degrees, so we'll take what we can get. Then we dip back down to 74 degrees, pretty sunny, and then that's when we do have a cold front coming in once again. Come Thursday, sitting at 68, and then that's when we increase into the upcoming weekend, sitting pretty similar to what we did see this weekend, sitting in the 80s. So we'll take what we can get, just a little bit of some rain on tomorrow, but for the most part, we will take some sunny skies, Rob. And like you said, Bridget, some well-needed rain. So we're all looking forward to that. Thank you so much. And now to a well-deserved retirement party tonight. The TSA is retiring one of their trained canines, Bruno. After more than two and a half years of working as a trained passenger screening cane, as a trained passenger screening canine, rather, at the Daniel Inui International Airport in Honolulu, Bruno is saying aloha to his working dog years and settling into retirement. And here's how he partied. The pup celebration included a showering of love and more than 100 squeaky tennis balls 
from his human co-workers. Aww. Bruno's retirement is well deserved after keeping travelers safe by screening thousands of people and belongings for potential threats. Bridget, what I want to know is, did he get any treats? Where's all the food? Where's all the snacks? Where's all the goodies? I hope he got it, Rob. And here I am saying, oh, because I love pups. So, uh, listen, uh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> well, uh, certainly well deserved. And yes. that's all the time we have for news. Thank you so much for joining us. Good Morning Basin starts tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Good night.